Okay, question 2.10, part E. We want to calculate this convolution, and we know this convolution equals integral. Let me write it here. This yt equals integral from negative infinity to infinity of delta tau minus 50 times rectangular of t minus tau over 20 d tau. Okay. And from sampling property, we know that the integral of delta t minus t0 rectangular of or whatever, not necessarily rectangular signal, say the general signal xt dt equals x the value of the signal x at t0. Okay, and we in previous exam in questions we explained why is that the case. So I can use the same property here. So where this tau minus 50 is 0, so that t0 is 50, so yt equals rectangle of t minus tau over 20 at uh, tau equals t0, which is 50, and this equals rectangular of uh, t minus 50 over 20. Okay, and the value of this signal is 1 if we know that if t minus 50 is smaller than or equal to 20 divided by 2, and it is 0 if this t minus, if the absolute of this t minus 50 is larger than 20 over 2. Okay. So if I further simplify this, I can say rectangular of t minus 50 over 20 equals 1 if t is between, uh, I would say, 60 and, uh, so if I take this out, then that would be 40. And the value of the signal is 0 if t is uh, larger than 60 or t is smaller than 40. So I can now easily draw the signal. So let's assume this is 40. And this is 60, so the value of the signal is 1 in this interval and is 0 for the rest of the time. So this is rectangular of t minus 50 over 20. And you see that the width of the signal is 20. Okay? This is the width of the signal, which is 20. 